Dick Pontridge, a 1942 San Ex graduate, turned 100 years young on February 13, 2024. While attending St. X, he played baseball and was a part of St. X's first ever baseball state championship team in 1942. Here he recalls his game-winning home run against Mail that sent St. X to the state tournament. So I got a hold of one over the third baseman's head, and all, I don't know where it went, but he, I kept running and running. <laughs> I, I, I go, uh, I, I go in and look up at, at first base and maybe wave me through. Go to second base and wave me through. And then went to third base, he waved me through. I didn't know whether they going ball. I hit it that far. I never hit one in my life in my life. But it was a line drive and all that. It got past Allen Hamilton. I don't know whether you've ever heard of the Hamilton boys. But anyway, he got past, must have got past him. So I got all the way home. If it had been up with a fence, it had been a double. <laughs> Mr. Pontridge is also able to recite the entire starting lineup from that season back in 1942. Jim Miller played third, Jack Thompson played short, I played second, and Andy Gee played first. Tommy, Tommy Hayden caught, Tommy Hayden it was, uh, he came from uh, Strikes the King, so, so did Andy Gee, and, so, and then and then had Chuck Miller in, uh, in left field, he was a f football player, and he came from Strikes the King. And then Tom Berry was a center, a center fielder. He played from St. Columbus. And then Annie, uh, uh, I can like see it. Krasowski played, St. George, I mean, he played right field. And he came from St. George or someplace like that. And then Jack Barrett was a, was a pitcher and he played, but he came from St. X. I mean, he came from Christ the King. After graduating St. X, Mr. Pontridge went to Louisville Speed School before enlisting in the Army to be a fighter pilot. Here he tells about his improbable return to safety after being shot down in Japanese territory. Well, again, I got shot down on my fifth fifth mission, combat mission. So I, I said, no, I said, Bill, I'm going to, I got hit. I'm going to have to go, no, go. And he, he followed me down. So then he, after, after he, he buzzed me when I was laying down on the, on the ground there. And, he thought I was awake, I was alive, and so uh, you know he could tell him that at least I was alive. Right. But that's all he could tell him. So he, of course, he went on his way. Uh, the, the, oh, the Chinese helped me get get out of uh, Japanese territory. I was in there for thirty six hours. Now here are some of his favorite memories while at Saint X. When Marion, he was, he slapped me around a little bit. <laughs> So Stanislaw taught, taught my daddy, and uh, he taught me math, and he taught me daddy was that bad. He, he would say, uh, I remember these, these three things, and he'd give you two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have jug back then? When you were a student, was there jug detention? Yeah. They had it back then in 42? The jug, yeah. Yeah, did they really? Yeah. Was it the same thing, you just stand and stare at a wall? I don't know, I never got in there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Even I got one. You never got a jug? No, uh, a goody-toochoo. 